What's going on everyone? Austin John please here and today I'm going to be going over the ancient texts, how to start the quest, the location of all of them, and the reward that you get for completing it in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> At some point throughout your adventure, you may have come across a small, sort of five-sided flower-shaped island in one of the Sky Islands, and it has this weird text that says, you can't read it because you can't, you can't read that language. This is one of the 13 locations of the ancient text in the game, and unfortunately, until you actually accept the quest, there is nothing you could do on these Sky Islands. So, I'm going to be going over how to start the quest, the locations of all of them, and what you get at the end. Great. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly too sure what actually starts this quest line. Actually, we could go ahead and test that. On this game, I have zero of the sages done. This is the one that I'm using for my Shrine Hunter series. And if I look on the map, yeah, just south of our location. Oh, wow. This is so very, 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 very high. <laughs> This is like 2,800 meters in the sky. Is this the tallest island in the entire game? It might be. I've never been up here before. I know that for a fact. So I'm pretty sure after you do a certain amount of sages, this is just going to be on the floor just by itself. And can you interact with this? No. Oh, so you could come all the way up here, but you can't interact with it whatsoever. So you just need to wait for this to fall to the ground naturally. This is uh, very clearly just a throwaway save right now, but I don't know what the sky limit is, so I might as well use this opportunity to find out, right? I'm going to guess 3250 or 3500. Oh, I found the ceiling. 3292. Did that go up any higher than that? It sounds like I'm literally scraping on the skybox. I can literally see scraping texture. Yeah, there you go. There's the world limit, 3,292. Okay, back to the game I was actually playing on. So just a certain point in your progress, this quest is going to be active. There's a gentleman here. If you go ahead and speak with him, he's going to be like, hey, you should go talk to my friend in Kakariko Village about this. So let's go to Kakariko Village and talk to his friend about this. Hi there, friend. Wads Wordsworth. And he's going to say that there's messages from an ancient era and that there's 13 in total and one of them is at Lookout Landing. So now you have to go take pictures of the other 12. You can just decide to do all 12 at once. Make sure you have 12 spaces in your album completely empty for that. And here they are in the sky. And if all you wanted was this, do me a favor, hit a like on the way out. They're not hard to find. Uh, they're just they're just star shaped. But if you want to follow along, go for it. We're going to start at the North Hyrule Sky Archipelago, the Mayim Shrine. And then we're going to be heading on over there. Once you know that you're close, if you go into first person and then look in that direction at all the altitudes, there's a chance you're going to be finding the pin, even if it's very, very low compared to you. So yeah, there we go. Also, while you're in Purapad view, you're not actually able to walk off of cliffs, which is pretty handy. Like I am very close to the edge of that cliff. And some of these are going to fall really, really low. And I've always tried to actually get a photo of it before it decides to fall. So my idea is I'm going to walk as close as I can using the parapad, pad and then I'm going to switch to the camera and see if there's there's just one little area that it likes. No, it doesn't like it. Can't walk any closer. So we're going to have to go down that step right there. If we step right here, we trigger the floor and then you can get a picture of it before it falls. But there's a very good chance it's going to fall and you're not going to get the picture in time. So I'm sitting here, right? And I'm watching past Austin play and I'm thinking to myself, you never once even thought of trying to use recall because you wanted to challenge yourself on taking all the pictures before it falls. Yeah, try using recall. I don't know if it works. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. There you go. But he he has his heart set on doing all of them before they fall. And this one, I believe, falls into the depths. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And going in clockwise order, making our way over here to the Sokala Sky Archipelago. I'm going to be going from the Natak Shrine. And this one is not too far above us, but we could definitely reach that. Go ahead and whip out my handy dandy auto build. And let's ascend on up. Just a smidge over two and a half batteries and we make our way up here. This is not one of the ones that's going to be falling down to the ground. Let's go ahead and take a picture of it. Our next one is going to be over here at the South Elden Sky Archipelago, a short flight away from the Kukataunar Shrine. Those are words. Those, my mouth made sounds. This one is a reasonable altitude lower from where we just spawned in from, so I'm going to go ahead and take the pusher. 
which is gonna just push me on closer and higher. Yeah, don't need telling, don't need nothing. And you're not even a faller, thank you so much. And our next destination is gonna be south of the Water Temple here in the Lanayru Sky Archipelago. Let's go ahead and head on over from the... Going ahead and rotating the uh, thing in the middle to see that this one is actually going to be below us and not too far of a coast on over. I don't remember if this one's a faller or not, but I'm going to be ready with the camera. Yep, faller. Got it. Our next one's going to be here in, I'm guessing this is the Nekluda Sky Archipelago. I'm going to go ahead on over from the Kuma Mine Shrine. Oh, and this one is pretty much like eye level with me. Okay. So from the construct platform, we're just going to build a machine to head on over. That's my plan. This one was just a little over five full batteries to get here. And I'm pretty sure this one's a faller. You fall right down to Lurland Village, right? Yep. Oh, we got it. Our next one is going to bring us right here, just south of this pond island. This one is just slightly above our altitude, so not too far out of the way. Although we do have that stream and it does go pretty low so as long as we make our way somewhere over there we can just use the zora armor to ascend on up yeah that zora armor got you up real high real quick are we above the island nope we still have to go higher okay and build something to bring us up there okay this was pretty much like maybe one battery to reach this i'm gonna be very impressed with myself if i go the whole video while getting all of these pictures while in the sky island on to our next one, and it's going to be just a little bit south of the... I'm also going to go head on over, talk to Stuart, and convert some of these charges into uh, more Zonai machines that I need. From the Great Sky Island, it is far, far below us. Hey look, we found one that doesn't fall down. So nice. Our next one is going to be here, just south of the South Hyrule Sky Archipelago. I'm gonna head on over from the Jito Dock Shrine. This one is just eye level and not very far. I could probably just do a rocket shield and then Tullin. Yeah, that's easy. And it even puts us on the close side. How nice is that? And we found another one that doesn't fall. Our next one is gonna be south of that in the Gerudo Sky Archipelago right next to the South Lomai Castle Top Floor Shrine. Oh, and that one, that one looks like a trip. Even in low gravity, that one looks like a trip. Yeah, I'm gonna build for that. The low gravity definitely helped to get us uh, a, a nice head start, but it was a little over three and a half batteries to get here. Oh, and then it instantly became cold. Thanks, game. You feel like a faller. Yeah, definitely a faller. Our next one is going to be here at the North Gerudo Sky Archipelago. If you have the Maya Sayer Shrine, we're going to be heading south of that. There's always one of the most inconvenient shrines to leave from because you have to glide on over. You have to time up your your updraft. And now I know that this Death Star is pretty much at one of the highest altitudes of this whole archipelago. So I know for a fact we could just glide on over and get there. No problem. And we're in low gravity. Yeah, it's down there. Easy peasy. Oh, it's even lower than I thought. <laughs> Easier, peasier? You're a faller in low gravity. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, it's not no gravity. Our next one is going to bring us over here to the top left of the map, which we're going to definitely be cold in again. And I'm going to head on over from the Wind Temple Shrine, the Kaha Kahata Naum Shrine. Yep, I tried. I guess we could have gone from that shrine over there. That would have been closer. I thought it was going to be a height issue. Hey, it's the light dragon. So hard to find, except for when I never need you. You guys never notice that? This one was not a faller, which is so nice for us. And the very last one that we need is going to be located right here next to the Lomai Castle. But I'm going to be heading from this shrine over here, the Tananaud Shrine, because I think the castle is going to be too low of an altitude. Oh, this one is so close. Can I just ride the pusher? Yeah, pusher and Tullin. No problem. You might have not even needed Tullin. And it's not a faller. Thank you so much. Now, after you go ahead and get your 12th photo all set, I'm just going to head back to Kakariko Village. You could have definitely gone here in between them, 
But for me, it just made more sense to get all 12 while you're in the sky and then go return all 12 at once. Did I find a stone tablet? Yep, we have all 12 left to find. Well, here we go, here's a picture. Now, if you want to read through this text that basically says like, oh, this is how they used to, you know, wipe their butt in ancient times and the, how they used to interact with the servants, then yeah, cool, go for it. Uh, I've already read this and I'm just gonna go ahead and collect my silver rupees and that is my 12th one and my 12th silver rupee Oh, wait a minute Wasn't this the final stone tablet? Yeah, you collected all 13 of them. I can't believe it. Finally. I've translated the whole history I'm gonna need a moment now that I've read all there is well to step outside my role as researcher I'm deeply impressed with the author. I would have very much liked to meet her if only the vast gulf of time didn't separate us. It's such a shame that there is no possible way that you could ever meet Minoru. And there we go. Here's the Zonai survey team fabric. If in the future you ever wanted to come by and come read these, you're more than welcome to. And that's messages from an ancient era side adventure complete. Another paraglider fabric. Fantastic. Well, guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.